A lot of questions and concerns developing since two major earthquakes shook the state of California. Earthquakes that were so strong that we even felt them right here in the valley. So tonight we're trying to tackle the big what if question. What if a major quake, we're talking the so-called big one, were to hit Southern California? How badly do you think Arizona would get rattled? We have team coverage coming your way tonight. One of the country's leading earthquake experts tells 12 News the jolt to Arizona could be devastating, not necessarily from the quake itself, but from the destruction in its aftermath. Let's get started, though, with Team 12's Bram Resnick. He has more from his conversation with seismologist Lucy Jones. Yeah, Lucy Jones warns that food, gasoline, even electricity could be cut off for millions of Arizonans if the big one hits on the San Andreas Fault. And we're a lot closer to the fault than many people know. The light fixture swung wildly last week in Southern California's Morongo Casino. <laughs> the 27-story casino tower looms over the desert outside Palm Springs, just four hours west of Phoenix on Interstate 10, and sits on the widely watched and feared San Andreas Fault. It's not the San Andreas that moved in this earthquake, uh, but the shaking affects the whole area. Nationally known seismologist Lucy Jones says that in a major quake on the San Andreas Fault, Arizona's highway lifeline could be a major casualty affecting millions of people. Repairing that freeway is going to be particularly difficult and time consuming after the event. The I-10 crosses the San Andreas Fault about a dozen times. If the freeway were destroyed, gasoline deliveries would be cut off, along with food and other supplies. Most of the gasoline for Arizona is refined in Los Angeles and goes out to Arizona across the San Andreas Fault. There's also the threat that massive power failures in California could automatically shut down the western power grid. So you may be without power for a while and you know if it's in the summer and it's 120 degrees that's potentially a life safety issue. Yeah, pretty scary scenario. So how likely is a major earthquake on the San Andreas Fault in Southern California? Lucy Jones told me the probability is about the same as you're getting into a car accident. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thank you.